What's up visionaries? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. And today I'm going to react to the newest season of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 9 episode number one. And I want to know what you guys think about this season and this episode. Who are you guys rooting for? And of course, what did you guys think about this episode's looks, this epi episode's challenges? And let's just, just let's just try to keep it honest, truthful, and most importantly, try to be unbiased as possible. I know we are all rooting for our favorite queens, but let's just be honest, at least in the comments, but we can still root for our favorite queens, even though we they didn't do good. You guys know how I do it. I do not vote. I do not judge and critique the queens on curves or um, my liking for them. I honestly keep it real brutally honest and I try to give constructive criticism for why I feel the way I feel. Also, you guys, this is a season where they are playing for charity. So that is an awesome thing. My only concern is that this is going to be a best friends race season. I don't know how that's going to translate in, um, I don't know how that's going to translate for a season. I personally don't like that aspect of it. No one is going to go home, which is okay. I honestly only feel like this is a, this is an outline where it should be only for all-stars winter season where no one should go home. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's great for like the contestants aspect of it where they can showcase all of their ensembles and to do every challenge and then no one goes home at the end and everyone's going to be a winner, I guess. But at the end of the day, what is the point of winning an all? What is the point of winning your guys' season when there is no like added plus benefits to a all-stars winter season? What is going to be the difference? What is going to be something that's going to be like strict just for them the reason why they're winners is because they should have some type of um some privileges and the privilege should be like no queen goes home during an all-stars winter season and i think that that was great but i don't think that should be the outline for a regular all-star season i think the queen should go home each and every episode that's unfortunate but at the end of the day this is a reality show competition and this is exactly what we're what we're looking for all-star season is usually not as messy as a regular season because the queens kind of really do know each other a little bit or heard of each other or, you know, performed with each other in shows or tours and stuff. So, you know, it's going to be kind of interesting. But let me know what you guys think. How are you? What are your honest opinions about that? Um, but yeah, I, overall, I'm really excited about it. I do have a lot of favorites in this season. We're going to see how this goes. And of course, like I said, let me know everything down in the comments and how you guys feel about everything. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and share this video on all your social media platforms. All of my social medias are going to be linked out in the description. So make sure you guys check that out. And if you guys want to watch the full unedited version of every reaction that I put on my YouTube, go to my Patreon diamond tier to unlock 400 plus videos. And if you guys want to send a blessing my way, you guys can do that by sending a cash at PayPal or Super Chat right here. All of it's going to be linked down in the description as well. There is a lot of content coming at you guys this um, two or three months because we got an All Stars 9. We got um, Bridgerton Season 3. We just finished with X-Men 97. We have Game of Thrones um, in June. So it's just a lot of things. And also, you guys, do not forget each and every Monday. I am doing a flashback franchise season five of Drag Race. You guys do not want to miss that each and every Monday. It has been so much fun going back in time and looking back at how the queens grew. Roxy Andrews is actually on the season that I am um, that I'm reacting to right now. And it's just so crazy to see her glow up from then till now. She was beautiful then. She did amazing then. And I'm sure she's going to knock it out of the ballpark. And she looks stunning, of course, now. But I um, but yeah, it's really cool. You guys have been loving that. Also, I am doing um, a movie reactions right now. I'm doing all of the X-Men franchise, 20th Century Fox um, movies, and that's going to be fun. I am going to start implementing a lot of Marvel, DC, all of that stuff um, onto my channel. So you guys stay tuned in for that. I am a geek at heart. So I love the fact that you guys love me for being such a geek. Um, but yeah, let's just get ready to react to episode number one of RuPaul's Drag grace all star sign over over shakova there's nothing that you guys can tell me 
that this is not sickening. It was a sickening entrance look. That hair alone was iconic. Got Mick, got style, got talent. You should change your name to Got Taste. You've got mm, the Definitely got some taste. And I'm ready to take the crown. Okay. It's going to be interesting how ready. that happens. You can't read the doll. Okay. Let's be very, very clear, though. Everyone can get brat. Okay, the time, place, date, and moment. Just saying. Okay, are you guys a bad <laughs> Are you guys a bad I love the fact that I'm reacting to this season. To season five. Not the airport. <laughs> well, girl, no one's going home. Gag on you. Shenanigans, we're here Artistry. for it. All okay, me too, honey. Well, hopefully, you know, we're going to at least get stunts. I don't know about shenanigans. Let's just be very clear. I'm going for blood. I'm still a girl. Okay. still a girl. That's the right attitude. Y'all can say what y'all want about Miss Vanjie. Because she annoys the f*** out of me, I'm going to be honest. I really can't deal with Miss Vanjie. I'm going to be very, very honest about that. But, girl... For her to make a moment the way she did only in one episode, that's crazy. That's amazing. You think that um, I was robbed on the show? Get no, you weren't. But now I'm back to do all stars. You know, anytime they call me, I pick up. It's not like As you up. should. My goal is winning some challenges, <laughs> winning the crown. Facts. Everybody proud of me. That's the attitude. The jacket is Bobby Pins. Okay, it's not my favorite ensemble. I'm gonna be honest. It's whatever to me. <gasps> not her whole ensemble's falling apart. <laughs> There's a reason why I didn't really care for it. <laughs> That's right, Miss Angie. Let the girls know, baby. You look beautiful, honey. I just wish the pant legs were a little tailored. You know, I understand it's a bell bottom situation, but just a little bit more tailored. That's it. Let me tell you something, you ugly Okay. That was an iconic line, baby. It just wasn't my time. It might be the it might be your time now. I've never met Nigeria. Not about you, Bobby Pin. How she's stiff competition. At the same time, she's newer to this. Come on, girl. girl. Let's see everyone's stiff competition, Miss Roxy. Girl, what you talk about? Okay, say Nina what you guys West want, Adams but Miss Nina West ensemble, her entrance look was really like cute to me. I enjoyed it personally. Feed her. It doesn't look like she needs to eat. <laughs> oh. I'm not hard. <laughs> that was you know, canny. Like I was always a legitimate threat, especially with acting and comedy. Yeah, she was a good comedy queen. Oh no! I forgot about that moment. Oh, my eyes! They're pretty! You can't bring a look like that. No, that is one thing she's not going to do is bring the fashions. Let's just be very clear, okay? She's going to give great personality. Since my season, I have done two years of the National mm. Broadway tour. Of Love school. her growth as well. That's school. awesome. I am coming back feeling like an all-star. Yeah, she's been killing it, Miss Nina West. Good job, girl. Y'all don't sleep on her. And I think I can win. I think I can win. You could. Day, you could. You could. Now. Oh, Shane. No. <laughs> now, Miss Vanessa, girl, your outfit should not be doing all that. Let's just be very, very clear. You know what? Ain't hey, no shade, you guys. Let's just be very honest. The girls, if a girl came in this season. Let's just say epi season 720, okay? Season 20, and the girl came in and her ensemble was given what Miss Vanjie's ensemble is given right now. Would it be a read? Would you guys read? Would you guys read the doll? Because honestly, that's late as <laughs> and it's a chop for me. Vietnam. That's right, Miss Plastique. Let the girls know. Say it out loud, baby. Y'all can say what y'all want about Miss Plastic Tiara. <laughs> Actually, y'all only say one thing. It's over for her. Let's just be very clear. But at the end of the day, she's going to be in my top two. If I had to pick a top two right now, Plastic Tiara oh, and a Roxy Andrews. New school, old school. And if I want to do a, a three, a wild card, Nina West. Top three. That's how I'm going. We'll see how this goes. Also, let me know you guys' top two and put a wild card in there.
I think the biggest challenge for me was to find my voice. Mm. Something you don't yeah, want she to grew a lot from her season. Family. I have become a full-time performer, oh. drag influencer. Baby, when I, I tell you that influencer, really that performer in her, honey, is over, honey. One video Sick goat knee. Sure. The only I thing with Plastic Tiara in this season, I need a longer oh lash. Hashtag longer lash. I understand the I understand the femininity of what you want to look like, but I need you to put a little bit more drag into it, especially on national television, 8K television. You know what I'm saying? I need that. Consider a bad thing being a social media queen. I remember that. There was. Okay, she's making the moolah, honey. I came back to smoke. The competition. Ah, come on, Miss Georgias. What do you guys think about Miss Georgias? To me, her entrance look is okay. I expected a lot more, I'm gonna be honest, because I feel like this is your, you know, re-coming to the world stage and this is we want to see how your look has gotten better but honestly it looks the same her looks has always been great if you can't read it you you can't talk about it her looks have been very very good across the board and they kind of look all the same let's just be honest but they're still good you know you were born for drag you do it so all right she was born to drag that's what miss rupaul said acting and improv it was like a whole new world to me yeah i just want to bring you can tell next. put my place on the map as one of the best lip syncers ever you did and no shade you know how to perform the house down touring around the world and my confidence is just through the roof and as it should so be pass the bottom pin who want to talk what? girl bye <laughs> how old are you i'm 23 now Fuck you <laughs> now look into my eyes and tell me that I'm not beautiful. Come on, my You are my name is stunning. I be my mother. No, be my mother. Okay. And I'm back, mother. When I tell you, if you want to see a queen that can paint, baby, let's talk about Miss Chanel. It's over. That girl's painting skills is sick go me. It's crazy how something that nobody knew anything about 15 years ago has become the biggest thing on television yeah that is crazy so lives. crazy to know that i'm a part of beginning that legacy that's you were no shame oh my and it's God. good to have you back miss chanel i can't girl. wait to see what you got okay did y'all ever think that you would like literally be walking through this room as a competitor again like what made you come because of the charity, oh, charity. yeah charity. <laughs> the money talks Number baby one. i wasn't even doing drag when i was watching chanel on tv <laughs> Now I'm competing wow. with icons, legends, all in the That's same true. Room. This is why we like an all-star season. I'm not letting none of these scoop me. As you shouldn't. You right. Let the girls know, honey. Don't play with you. I want you to use your charisma. I want to know these rules, honey. How the girls are going to, you know, determine the winner of the season. You'll be competing to win money mm -hmm. for the charity of your choice. Okay, we got that. There will be no elimination. I don't like that. Do you guys like that? And my thing is, why are they cheering and acting like that's the first time they heard that? Y'all knew before y'all even said yes to coming into this season that no one was going home. And you guys got coins for your ensemble. So there should be nothing that's on this runway that should be falling apart, Miss Vanjie, and um, looks crazy. Okay? Let's just be very, very clear. If you guys know the amounts, let me know down in the comments. Because I don't want to say a number and it's wrong. So I want everyone to really just, you know, let us know. Each challenge, I'll name the top two all-stars of the week. Each will be awarded a beautiful benefactress badge. Okay, so they got each episode top two all stars for each week and they win a badge. Got you. Okay. They're doing the badges in this all stars. Okay. The lip sync winner will okay. receive a cash donation of $10,000 for their cause. Okay, so $10,000 for every win at lip sync. The power to cut off one of her fellow queens from receiving a beautiful benefactress badge the following week oh so basically they can cut they can stop the girl's chances from getting the badges not the win but just the badges and i'm sure that at the end of the season collectively however many badges the girls have most likely is going to be the top contender to win the crown 
which is what I'm assuming. If I have to cut somebody off, a is getting the chop. As you now should. Winning beautiful benefactress badges mm. is everything. Right. There you go. I figured that. In the grand finale, the three queens with the most oh. beautiful benefactress badges will battle it out to win $200,000. Okay. For their charity. All right. See, now that is what I'm talking about. See, I do kind of like that aspect of the rules is because they threw a wrench in it. You kind of do have to be a little messy or or conniving or strategic with you going to the finale because you have to knock a girl's spot off. So most likely if you are the top contender in this season for next episode, they're going to not want to let you get a badge. So they will pick your name for that. So that's kind of fun. That's interesting. That gives us the edge that us audience kind of is looking for. So that might be a good thing. You know, because I'm thinking right now this was going to be like a, you know, Care Bear countdown. No, I don't. Mm -mm, I don't like all that, you know, but that's it gives us a little sizzle. What do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy that? And also the top three that have the most badges are going to go to the finale to lip sync for the crown which is really cool because, you know, it kind of really cuts out like, is this going to be fair? Is this how are we going to get the girls? How are we going to know who's going to go to the finale? So this really kind of just narrows it down to give a well-structured season, which I like. But again, I prefer each and every queen going home for their season. I mean, for their episode, but you know. I digress. The library is about to be open. Okay. This reading is what? Fundamental, oh, darling. <laughs> Hopefully That's the girls right. got what it takes it's to read and let's not be nice girls, and cookie know. critter crunch, Good. honey. So, I'm read me a fulfilled. Okay. Good, Miss Angeria. Long time since your season and you look it. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to having talent, you ain't got much. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't tell no lie, baby. She ain't tell no lie to me. You never met anyone whose parents are more related than their teeth. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wowzers. Shade. That was to the gut. That pays the girls only in empanadas. Don't blame me. Look at Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, Miss Gottmik. Okay, girl. You, you sharpened up them reading skills, girl. You've been hanging out with Miss Violet too long, girl. Your liver is so black and shriveled. It's 15 face tapes away from hosting RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> okay, girl. That was okay. It was kind of a little bit too long, but it was still good. I smell weed and poppers all the way from the parking lot. Ooh, you ain't wrong. She ain't tell no lie. Girl, that's the truth. <laughs> George is like, you right, you right. You, G, L, Y, you ain't got no storyline. You are good. Wowzers. They're coming from Ms. Angeria's looks a lot. How do you feel about that, Angeria? Let us know down in the comments, okay? Some people call you dumb. <laughs> That's it. Period. Okay. With two X's or three X's. Wait, hold on. I remember. Just look at the tag in your shirt. Three, right? Oh. Right. Ooh. I actually took a pill to get rid of my Angeria. Oh, okay. I didn't expect to see you here. I just figured that you would cancel. I'm just looking like all of your other oh. ones. Oh, that was personal. <laughs> that was a real tea. <laughs> Try the new TikTok challenge and learn how to tuck properly. <gasps> oh. No shade. It gives you chunky monkey. I guess they let anybody become stars now. Oh. Oh. You waiting? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I know that's right. That's a good comeback to Miss Nina. I didn't know you was going to be here. Oh. They said it was all stars. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. What do I say about you? <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> oh, okay. She said skip. Y'all can cut when Ru was laughing at the other ones. Add that into my day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl. She does good with the ad lib. She does good with the ad. See, she's better off the cuff stuff. She's not good at really making something up as a joke. You get what I'm saying? My fan oh my. favorite is the Violet Chachi's assistant. <laughs> oh, I see no lies there. But with a face like that, you have to be nice. <laughs> Wow. Damn. Yeah, Told you, great yeah. personality. I didn't You're really right. know you were going to be here today, but judging by your outfit, you didn't either. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not breaking the fourth wall, girl. You better look at the camera. I know that's right. 
you are all such giving. They did good. I enjoyed them. Roxy Andrews. Yeah, I guess Roxy could have done good. She was good. You guys think she deserved it out of everybody? You'll be writing and performing this season's theme song. Everyone should be bringing the heat. We should be bringing a drag caliber that's, you know, awesome. Yeah. Worthy. Exactly. And they paid you guys, too, a good coin for your ensembles to bring. So it should be very good, right? Okay, great. The ensemble shouldn't be coming apart. Is there a big like competition? Honestly, Roxy knows this game pretty yeah. well. Roxy's well, gonna do good, baby. Like, I feel it in my bones. Nina's the one to watch out for. I told you, that's my wild card. Miss Georgia's, me and you are thinking eye to eye. Like, we get it. It's the doll mentality. <laughs> okay, the doll mentality. Is me and Roxy both graduated from the doll edge, the College of Dolls. <laughs> okay. This. Have you guys graduated from the College of Dolls? I'm a, I'm a professor. Welcome. Class is in session. The, oh. Not Welcome to the, the acrylic <laughs> box <laughs> for the wig. Wow. So many of the queens competing are younger than me because my longevity in the field may give me a leg up i agree and with you chanel you're seasoned baby nothing wrong with a seasoned dish <laughs> the message of drag queen save the world is that existing in their own skin to fight bigotry and homophobia oh, so girl. true Always honey so freaking true of life. so they crazy to even think rights. that we are talking about this in 2024 shiniest. And this mm -hmm. stuff happens when people don't register to vote and don't vote that's right are you guys registered all right it's coming down honey november's right around the corner and vote down the ballot. We're gonna try and be the badge doll. <laughs> oh, y'all Please don't get me sick and tired of that, that word yeah, doll. Ow, see, I'm already doing a good job. Uh, girl, okay. All right, Miss Angie, you better be confident in your lyrics. Can... Is anyone else like addicted to like Angie's personality and aura? I just love it. She's just so just gravitate. It just makes you want to gravitate towards her. Whoever I see as a threat, mm -hmm. I'm basically gonna cut them off. Yeah. As you should, Miss Angeria. I just know you've been that. Girl, I don't <laughs> Girl, don't I count her out, honey. That. She'd probably be the first one. Who y'all gonna cut if you get the cut? <laughs> okay, girl, they trying to whisper, honey, girl. It's all right, girl, you can say it out loud. I dare you. Yeah. <laughs> right, Miss got me <laughs> straight to her face. Damn. The first cut is definitely gonna start drawing lines. True. There's, I can trust my girl, Plastic. But the rest of them Girl, I don't know about that. Don't trust her either. Don't trust nobody in a competition. Okay, Miss Rue. This is cute. I don't mind it. I like this little ensemble. You look like my pillow over here. Would you consider yourself a Oh, she's gonna do a performance? Oh, she said, girl, let me let me bring you a one two right now, honey, for opening up the show. Say what you want, honey, but this is probably the most energy and the most enthusiasm that I've seen Ms. RuPaul given a performance. You can tell she she feels herself. You can tell she feels good and she looks good. I mean, even though it's the same two step that she always do, honey, but you know why? She's giving a little extra ump this time, okay? Which I appreciate. That's one old Betty up on that stage, honey. Y'all about to give her her roses, honey, and give her her little snaps and kudos. Okay, Ms. Ru. Of drag queens save the All world. All right, let's see what they got. How are they gonna save this world? Okay. God make you look great. Yes, love the lyrics. That's right, Miss God make that was over. <laughs> Come on, Miss Nina, girl, you look good too. Okay, cute lyrics. That was cute. Good job, Miss Nina. Ooh, Miss Plastic, you knew how to come through with the entrance, baby. Yes, love the lyrics. Yes, baby, you better give it to us, honey. Seduce us over, over, over performance. And cute lyrics, Miss Plastique. So far, so good. The girls are even doing the choreo good. Good job, girls. I see no, like, mess ups. Come on, Miss Angeria. Come on, honey. Give us a solo number, baby. You look great, Miss Angeria. Good job. I love the lyrics. Okay. All right. The ensemble is okay. I mean, you know what the ensemble is giving hero vibes and the lyrics were cute. Come on, Miss Georges. I know that's right. Serve it to us, baby. Okay. That was cute. Lyrics were cool, Miss Georges. That spin to that dip was kind of funny though, Miss Georges. It was okay. The, no, not funny. It was all right. The girls got energy, which is good. I like that. You look good, Miss Chanel. 
gosh. What was she doing with her lip sync, though? But the lyrics are okay. Okay. It's giving me a Balenciaga ensemble. It's okay. We've seen it many times in little knockoff boutiques. The look is okay. Lyrics are cool. Honestly, I wasn't really too impressed with Roxanne, I'll be honest. Like, for her to be on stage, I need that ensemble to be better. I need, I need her to have more energy than what she's doing. Okay. All right. That was cute. That was good. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Who did the best? Category is signature look, signature fragrance. This is cute. I like it. I just feel like it's a lot going on with that chain. I just wish that it wouldn't have take away from your body shape, but I like the concept of it. I like the name. I like the look and the edginess of it because it gives me that, but I wish it, you, you gave us a little bit of shape more. Yes, criminal. Funny as it is illegal. That was cute, Miss Nina. I like how you combine that. And honestly, this is a good look. Your bottle and your ensemble, they look great on you and uh, and it looks good in your hand. You know what? I do like this, Nina. Good job, girl. You look great. Proportions, shape, concept, look, hair, mug. Good job, Miss Nina. Fantastique by Plastique. I know that's right. You better give us Archangel, honey. It's over, Miss Plastique. Oh, she's going to give you double wings, baby. Double wings, double the pleasure, darling. I love it. Give us Victoria's Secret. And I do like the concept. I like the the... The, the bottle, the bottle matched your ensemble. This is your type of brand. It works well. Good job. The Southern Veil. Oh, Le the Southern Veil. <laughs> Miss Nigeria, this is good. The concept, the name of the bottle, the way it looks, it translates with your ensemble. That was so good. And I love the way that you're selling it. I like the verbiage to your slogans, to the name, to the bottle, and everything. It works well together. If I can see this on the shelf and I see your ensemble separately, I know that they belong together, which is great. And you look good. The concept, the fit, the shape, the mug, the hat, everything's great. Not toxic up. Very fitting. I don't know about the fragrance name, but it definitely fits you. Toxic, for sure. Honestly, the outfit is okay. I'm not wowed about it. That will leave you gaping for more. <laughs> not gaping for more. Okay, story of my life. Okay, I like it. This is her brand. This is her thing. I like the little tear off moment, which is great. It adds to her flavor, her look, and her brand, which is good. The makeup, the hair, the ensemble is good. Um, the bottle is cute. Yeah, it's okay. Chanel number one. That Chanel, Chanel number, number one. one. That's right. The scent that delves into <laughs> this look right here, Miss Chanel, it's over. You look expensive. You look sickening. The shape, the concept, the the way it's structured. Oh, everything about it. The bottle to the outfit to the slogan to the brand, the hair, the makeup. Oh, you look over. Never sent home. <laughs> Never sent home. Okay. <laughs> Girl, what in the bootleg frozen is going on over here? Uh, oh no, I just feel like this is like a a packaged Halloween costume. For you to create so many good things, even on your Instagram and your social medias, you want to bring this look? No, this is not, I don't know. The hair is okay. The mug is always on. The body looks okay. The, the concept, the structure, the bottle, the... the I don't know what that was, Miss Roxy. Mm. I'll be honest with you. Miss Plastique, top, and Miss Nina did good too, baby. Miss Nina looked good and did good. Shocking, I said Nina. What did you guys think? And I'll throw Angeria in there. I've made some decisions. All right, here we go. Angeria Paris. All right, she did deserve it. She did so good. She knocked it out of the ballpark. Congratulations, Angeria. Georgia's. Oh my God. I would have gave it to Plastique. But she did, uh, Georgia's, you did so good too. I'm not going to lie. Personally, you guys, you guys really did good. If I had to look at the performance plus their bottles, their message, their lines, and the way that it looked with their bottle as well. I mean, Plastic Tiara, I would have gave her a winning spot. That's for sure. And um, it could have been a toss-up for me between Angeria and um, Nina West, personally. But yeah, either way, I'm fine with the winners. I mean, I have no problem with them winning because they all really did good. So good job. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. The time has come 
for you to lip sync for your charity. Here we go, Lark girls. Okay. All right. Interesting mix for the for the song. Yes, she got the little rag out. Come on, Miss Angeria, for Miss Whitney. Oh, yes, Miss George, just feel it, baby. Emote, darling. Give it to us. Oh, okay, Miss Georges, you better go on ahead and give us a good 16, 12, 16 count. For Miss Angeria, you're giving me every bit of Miss Whitney, girl. You better do it. Miss Georges, girl, she's giving us dance moves, baby. She's giving us that energy to go with this mix. Yes, she's just so effortless on this stage, Miss Georges. It's so sickening. They're both doing good. It's so crazy. This is a good lip sync performance, a good lip sync in general, because you're actually looking at two different vibes of lip syncing, which is so good to see. You see someone that does like really good, classic, lovely impersonation of drag lip syncing, and then you see like a dance mix, high, high vibe, entertaining performances. Yes, come on, Miss Angeria. She's giving me Whitney down though. But Miss George's honey, she said, girl, she's gonna she's gonna work this whole stage too. Miss Angeria said, Me too, baby, don't worry about it. Ah, honestly, two different vibes. It really depends on your taste and vibe. For me personally, I like Angeria. Angeria, she just gave me with the with the tapping. She just gave the Whitney that we need and Rest in peace, Whitney. I'm a big Whitney fan as well. So, I mean, personally, I enjoyed it. I liked Angeria's version, me personally. What do you guys think? Who would you go? Who would you have chosen? I made my decision. Angeria. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yes, you did that, Miss Angeria. I'm so happy for you, girl. Wait, what's about to happen now? Oh, she's going to pick somebody. I forgot. Ooh, T. Who would you guys pick? Using the Ruby Snippers. <laughs> Ruby Snippers, I can't. I'm receiving a beautiful benefactress badge next week. Which sister will you scissor? Plastique, clearly. <laughs> Duh. Oh. Plastique or Nina? Please let whoever I snip with these snippers not be too upset, girl. You okay, it's a game, honey. They shouldn't be upset. <laughs> snip, snip. <laughs> All right, she picked she picked the top dog in the season. No shame. She came for the dog. Hey, I'm Got girl. That's a compliment to you, Miss Roxy. Angeria has cut you off from earning a beautiful benefactress badge. And the competition has started, darling. Okay, visionaries, that is the end of my reaction to episode number one of All Stars 9. Let me know what you guys truly think about this episode. Did you guys agree with the top two queens? Did you guys agree with the lip sync winner? Did you guys agree? And who would you guys have chosen to get this snip snip? Let me know all of that down in the comments. And also, what did you guys think about the performances and the looks and the challenge? Let me know all of that down in the comments, you guys. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Don't forget, you guys, every Monday I'm, re I'm doing a flashback franchise reaction. Season 5, I'm doing right now. You guys do not want to miss that. Roxy is on that season. You guys are going to see her from back then to the glow up to right now. It's so amazing to see. Um, but yeah, and honestly, who are you guys rooting for this season? Who do you think is going to take it all the way and take the crown? Who is going to be the top three? Let me know all of that. And please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and share this video on all your social media platforms. And of course, like always, visionaries, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Into the next one. Bye.